on the last video. Despite the fort's partial destruction, the Germans held their position. The mission was a failure. And so it continues. My darling, war has taken away a very dear friend. He was like a brother to me, and his death affects me much more than I could imagine. In happier news, Carl is safe from the trenches, and his condition improves steadily. I'll go and see him on my next leave. And what about you? How are you? Are things in St. Miel any better? Carl discovered things were not, in fact, any better. According to Marie's last letter, his son had fallen gravely ill. Carl had come to a decision. This war would never end. He had to escape. Okay, hold on. Eddie, no. Eddie's not dead. Or Freddy. Ben's Bunsen burn. I don't care. He's not dead. There's no way he's dead from that. So you want to break out together, huh? I'm gonna assume you're one of the good guys, right? Right. Hey, Anna. Oh, hi. What? You want meat? Well, that guy could become meat. Maybe. I'm gonna go find some meat. Oh, what's this? Hello, everyone. Anyone wanna be food for a dog? Or have beef jerky? Actually, I probably need food for a dog because I'd probably eat the beef jerky on the way. Fine. Go the other way then. Anything over here? Just more sleeping Germans. And this? Letter from a Hungarian prisoner. Dear Mr. Dienstal, I have been held in a prisoner of war camp in Rhymes for almost three months now. We're relatively well treated, but I can't wait to get out of here. With your permission, at the end of the war, I would very much like to return to my foreman position. I still have all my faculties, and even if I may not be as strong as I was, I'd soon be fit enough to work again. I look forward to hearing from you. Maximilian, electrician foreman. Man. That's another thing you gotta realize. Everyone in war isn't, like, wanted to be in war. They just had normal jobs before. And then war happened. War and before kind of rhyme. These are love ad houses. This is water. That's water. Still look- oh. I'm sorry, I'll come back later. Still looking for food. I have coal. Anything up here? Do you have any food up? Oh. Uh. Uh, you? What is this? Oh. More dog tags. No, not even dogs. They're double dogs. Actually, that's not accurate. Either way. Turn that. Is there a way to turn the one in the middle here? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see what this does. It does that. Alright, good to know. Well, I got water going somewhere. Not entirely sure where that is, though. What has water? That's n oh. Ugh. There we go. So, does that mean it's connected now? Does that mean we now have proper water flow and the man down here who is naked can take a shower already? Looks good. I think. 
right? That looks very solid. Let me go check him out. Hey, can you take your shower? I'm assuming you wanted a shower. Yeah. You're smelly. Here you go. Uh, take it. Aw, oh, look at you, you little pudge. This is adorable. I could just poke your little belly all day. But I'm not gonna. Because that would be kind of awkward, because I don't think that's what you want. What is this? I just took... Belt straps? I think so. Alright, maybe I can use belt straps to get food. Do you want belt straps for food? The man's getting reamed in there. There's a diary entry. April 25th, 1915. Victor is one year old today. My god, I miss him. How long is this war going to last? If only they could assign me to St. Miguel. The Germans are still holding the town. May 8th, 1916. I've been stuck here in this POW camp south of Rhymes for 11 months now. My health is picking up, and I'm even walking again at last. Well, thanks to Anna. Marie's last letter worried me. Victor is very sick, and they don't have the resources to take care of him in St. Miguel. I must get out of here. February 21st, 1916. This morning, shells came running down on our sector. Freddy was out in front and was lucky to pull through. I had to play cannon boy to dig him out of there. I was awarded a medal, but I'd much prefer to leave of absence. I hope Carl's okay. It was such a relief to receive Mary's last letter. May 8th, 1916. Sad day today. Freddy and Walt perished. May their souls rest in peace. Oh shit, Walt too. I told... No, there's no way. No way they're dead. Absolutely not. February 21st, 1916. Emil saved my skin again today. What a deluge of shells. I got to write to my younger brother. He's worried about me. March 18th, 1916. Victor is sick. He hasn't eaten in three days. He's all pale and weak. He needs meat. But I have nothing left to give him. I hope he improves soon. Carl's last letter reassured me. He can walk again. There's a nurse taking special care of him at the POW camp. There's no way, no way in hell Walt and Eddie or Freddy and or whatever the hell you want to call him is dead. Absolutely none. I refuse to believe that. They're definitely coming back. What's this? That was a very feminine movie. There's horses out there. I would like to ride one out of here, but I can't do that. But, I do have that whole water situation done. I see they have stuff over there. They have food and booze, but I'm in the POW area of this camp, so that ain't happening. Oh! Maybe I could trade my belt strap for access into here. Hey, you want this? Nope. I see you also have a pipe up there? Did you know there is a mermaid who would love that shit? Probably didn't. Probably don't even think they exist. Oh, wow. That was a me place right here. I feel silly now. Hello! You want a pipe? I know where a pipe is, but I can't get it for you right now because it won't let me in. I'm going to take the thing behind you and I can't do that right now because you won't let me through. Okay. What about up here? This is blocking the way of something. Hello. Ooh. Eh. You wanted belt straps? You can have belt straps, I guess. Eh. Uh, take them. You're welcome. This is a totally fair trade for... Medical supplies. Alright. Who needs freaking healing? I'll heal the fuck out of people. Somewhere. What's over here? More partying. And a fact. I gotta say. Being a prisoner of war sounds pretty good as opposed to the whole dying thing. Your belly hurts! I can help you with this! Here you go, man! I help you, you help me. We're a happy... Monarchy? I don't know. What you got over there? Oh, here. 
Hold on. I'll move it over there. Now you can give me whatever is in the sack. Thank you. Now what is in this sack? I see a bandana. I could be a bandit. How about this one? Thank you. Good gemacht. Am I gonna go like fuck with a bull now or something? I mean I I guess that'd be fun. Sure. I'll go fuck with a bull. Where the hell's a bull at? You guys have any bulls? Hmm. That's a fence. Maybe this is their secret club. And then I can get in with this. Yes it is! Hello, secret club member. I'm your new companion. Hi. I just joined. I'd like to play scat with you because that's apparently what German people play. Yeah, you're winning that scat. Alright, I'm gonna go give this pipe to the dude over at the butchery so I can get some meat. Yeah, good play with that. It was a good hand. You got that queen out there? Scattered all over. Hey man, you wanna get smoked? Alright. I got this. <laughs> I like how it's just called Biscuit Box. That's a great name. Oh, I got. Oh! I could chuck this at the meat. Oh, I gotta make it like a. Uh, what are they called? Rube Goldberg machines. Okay. Uh, boop. And then I gotta get it with this one. Oh, turn around. There you go. Boop. There you go. Sliding meat. Catch it before it hits the ground. You fucked up. This is what happens when you don't play a lot of baseball. You remind me of Grandpa. Hey, dog. Do you like meat? Do you love it? Do you want it? Slide it. Oh, I can just put it in your bowl, actually. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. Hey, where's Anna? I'll take these. You love bolt cutters? Okay. Okay. Don't get seen by the spotlight. Don't do it. Don't do it. The pop brats will be all over you. I don't know if we're gonna get. There we go. Okay. Now let it pass by. They don't like looking in bushes. Go, go, go. All right. We'll get through right here. Come on. 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 Go, go. Good hustle, man. Why did they see us? Shit. We're dead. No way you go out like that. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Sorry about your wife, buddy. Hey, coming. Let me see what this does. Alright, that makes electricity happen, but we need a battery for it. It's okay. We'll get you out of here. Where are you at? Buddy, hey, I see you with some rubble. Shoot, can I get you out? Yeah, you're good. 
No problem. Man. Yeah. All right, we'll find a battery. Maybe there's a battery in this thing. It looks like it have a battery. I don't think it does. Oh wait, you have a battery. I see that now. Okay, here you go, buddy. Thank you. Let's crank it. All right. I see one of those red things are up there. Oh, yep. Okay. I gotta go see if we can get that. Let's move, buddy. Mm. All right, check up here. You know what, let me check diaries really fast. No new entries. Well, I can't hurt to try, I guess. You? Ooh. Bayonets are hardcore. All right, so, I see this is a thing. <sighs> Darn. All right, well, do you see any way that this can move? Oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Walt, thank you. Good boy, Walt. You're my favorite deputy. Well, let's go use this thing on the thing, and then we can get out of here, probably. Give me that, buddy. Good boy. I don't even know what this is. It's just like some weird spring contraption. Here you go. God, you're so smart. All right. Should probably get in, Walt. Maybe. Oh, well. Let's go. Wait, should we go the other way? Yep, go this way. Not. Oh, we're just gonna plow through it. Fuck it! There we go. Hang on. Can I get out? Get. Nope, that's armored. Wait, armored me. Factoids! That place sounds dangerous. But. I wanted to get out so I can open that locker. That doesn't seem to be happening right now. Oh. Uh. Okay. Not sure where we're going with this right now, but. Okay. Huh. Alright, yeah, you get that gun. I'll get this locker. Ugh. I've seen Demolition Man. You can do a lot with rats. Like burgers. That's delicious. It turns an arrow. Hmm. Does it do anything else? Oh. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna need you down there to do that when I'm doing this thing. Alright. Get to it. Now, pull it. I need to get the actual gun, and then it'll probably attach to it, and then we're gonna get mad vengeance. Also, hold on. Found this! Jeez, they only made like 84 bucks a month? Criminy. Now, I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure soldiers these days, at least American soldiers, make a bit more than that. Hey, I see we're doing puzzles. Okay. That means you want one of these and one of the triangles. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Uh. What? 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 Oh, up there. It shows the symbol that's being made. There we go. If you don't like this, I don't know what you like. I made a thing. It's pretty much like a 3D printer. There you go. Now you want a triangle? Okay. Looks like a triangle to me. Has a little swivel on the bottom, but I think it'll be okay. Nope. I don't think you like this. You're not giving me a dramatic, like, look at everything you're doing right now situation. 
I guess I can understand that. But I tried pretty hard. Oh, this was right. Alright, cool. We did it! We're the best at making guns! Who knew? Who knew triangles or diamonds or whatever the hell you call them? Who knew that's all you needed? I sure didn't. Oh, what about up there? How do I get in the room to the left? I have no idea. Either way, Walt. Hit that. Hit it again. Okay. It does not go to the left. And do it. Okay. Hit it. That should work then. Good. Alright. I think we're pretty well equipped for killing. If you're down, I'm down. Why not? Right? Right. Let's go kill a bunch of people who are really mean. Oh, shoot it. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Artillery powers. Good. What? Oh. Cool. Alright. I'm ready. I can climb hills. You guys don't even hear me? I'm bad. To the bone. No, no, no. Bad. Bad. Oh. Bad to get the blimp. It's not even a blimp. It actually was a blimp. Hey! Wait, those, those are hot air balloons. Running over your sticks. Hope you're okay with it. Sweet. God, why can't I have this thing all the time? This will make- Oh god! Hey, 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 hey! Stop that! Okay, come on. Yes! This thing solves a lot of issues. Remember when we were being bombed earlier by Von Dorf? If we had this against Von Dorf, we would have kicked his ass! We would have kicked his ass so hard! Alright, you gotta back up. They're not hitting us, but we're not gonna be able to hit them. Okay, our kid just about right here. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, wait for that one. They're not gonna shoot again? Fine. Stupids. They could have kept me under pressure, but they totally didn't even think about it. Oh, wow. Well. That just means I'm better at this than they are. Alright, shoot into the window. Blow it up. There we go. I see you have dynamite set up. Cool. Oh. Oh. Fine. I can dig through things. I've seen Emil do it all the time. He thinks I'm dead. He's gonna see me. He's gonna be like, I thought you were dead. I'm like, no friend. It's gonna be great. Shoot, shoot it, come on. There you go. I'm sure Walt's fine in all this. He really should have gotten inside this thing, though. Either way, I'm gonna take this fort back so hard. It's gonna be great. I'm literally just a man on a mission right now. I mean, I know I was to begin with, but my mission right now is vengeance. And it feels Great. Now I'm just blowing up nature. I honestly have no reason to. I just want to. I feel like I'm playing a really good Happy Wheels level or something. Hey, I brought back this thing. Lucky Freddy was given a hero's welcome by the French forces. Emil wrote to Anna to let her know that her father was free and out of harm's way. Freddy and Emile's reunion, however, would be short-lived. May 14th, 1916. Freddy was sent to the Somme, while Emile's regiment was quartered near a small village at the top of a hill. The village was called Beauquois. This is where the conflict had moved underground. Hold up in their trenches, the two camps dug tunnels and galleries. The underground war had begun. Oh, 
Oh, man. Well, we're in Dwarf Fortress land. I don't even know how the controls work in that shit. It's too intense, too in depth. Hello. I guess we gotta go down. Let's go find Grumpy McGrumstein looking guy. I mean, he's probably super nice, but he looks grumpy. Hey. An SOS that way. Okay. I'll go right now. You know, you should probably go help me. There's a big issue. And there's facts. Alright, that's actually pretty interesting, and I had no idea something like that happened. Cool. I mean, that's... That's terrible, but that's still really interesting that that happened. Hey, I'm here to dig you. Wow, they leave you like this, huh? Get him, buddy. I know, my dog's a hero. You can lick him if you want to, but that's usually his job. I would pat your head too, but you get smoky on me. Bring him over here, boy. Say beyond, man. Alright, you enjoy sitting by your smoke. I'm gonna go this way. Probably get some apple juice or something. I can dig here. Huh. Okay. Alright, so I should probably look down before I do things. And blow it up with a can. I swear, cans are never used for drinking anymore. Or cups. Whatever, they're just deadly. Hey, dude. You need the plunger? Okay. Do you want a hug? It's probably lonely down here. Hey! Come on, Walt. We gotta go save him, man. They're dying from smoke. Smoke inhalation, because smoke is currently exhalations. Oh. Goddamn, guys. Hey. Are you okay in here? Hopefully you didn't put that up on purpose. I'm gonna use this and blow that cart down here. So that I can get up there, I'm guessing. Yay! Don't you love it when things just come together, buddy? I mean, you don't expect them to, but you just hope. And sometimes hope is all you need. Most of the time, it isn't. I'm not gonna die today. How about this way? Oh. Listen, I'm sorry you're dead, but I'm gonna need your helmet. I cannot take it. What you see, boy? No, no, no. Go, go there. What you, what you got? Hey, it's... These. Listening device. Huh. Cavens. Interesting. So... Let's see. You... Oh! Oh! Well, I don't really know what I'm owing about just yet, but I think I do. I still gotta figure out a way to turn that thing. But for now, I gotta throw this up here. Uh, there you go. Beautiful, really. That's where I'm gonna need it. Unless you can catch fire from smoke, but I don't think that's a thing. I know you can catch fire from being a really close to lava but not touching it because it's super freaking hot. But still not really what we need right now. How the fuck did you even get in that position in the first place? Uh here. Oh! Is that gonna blow up something I need? Yes! And then I can use Walt to get in there. Alright, Walt. Uh go in that one. Okay. Yes. Turn that, buddy. Oh, wait. That's going to blow it up before I... That's fine. I just throw another one in. See? We're master men. Men and dog. Mogs. Uh, turn this. All right. We got to get there as fast as we can, buddy. Hope you're ready for this. Because this is going to happen, whether you are or not. Oh. Flee! There we go. All right, buddy. Here we go. Go, 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 go. And there we are. I saved you. Remember my name. 
Super Emil. There we go, see? We got the plunger. And now we can blow stuff up with it. Well, already planted dynamite. We can't add to it, but we can sure as hell try. Hello, sir. I... Where'd he go? Whatever. Plunger's here. Well, you might want to back up. Told you, buddy. God, you're crazy, dog. You're welcome. Another SOS. Hang on. Walt's looking at something. What you got, boy? Anything juicy? Oh, this might be juicy. That's about as juicy as overcooked chicken. Hello? I'm going to save you. In a minute. All right. Be wary of explosions. I'm coming. Hello. Oh. Ah. God damn it. Also, hello, bird. I hear they use you to see if there's any kind of bad natural gases or something in these things. Can I take your pickaxe? I can pet my dog. Well, the guy we came down to save is dead. How the hell did you do that? How? Just how? I know you're German, but seriously, there is a limit to how silly you can be. Hang on a sec, let me check over here. Well, I see things I could dig, potentially, but... Either way, let's see what uh, comes of this man. Hello! Don't make me regret this. We're gonna have to work together now. We're gonna have to be mutual allies. Hey. There's a thing right there. I don't... I don't have anything I could really use to get that little link there. Alright, well, we gotta go find something to throw at it. Listen, I don't know what you're saying, but can you please give me a throwable object? I'll take that as a no. See, well, this is why we're supposed to bring dynamite with us wherever we go. We won't ever have this issue otherwise. Alright, this time I'm gonna actually see if I can just pull him down. And then Walt could do something about this. Uh, all the way down. Walt, get him, boy. This is actually what you're supposed to do. Good boy. How are you? Thank We're generally enemies, but when we have an issue that we're both facing, we become temporarily allies. You're like Team Rocket, and I'm Ash Ketchum. Walt is my Pikachu. And you're not my Brock. Come on, buddy. We'll get through this together, but if you try to steal my Walt, I'll kick your ass. I've done it many, many times. You want to turn that for me? That'd be great. Thanks. You're a good guy. I can help you out now too, huh? All right. Here. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna do it. Well, calm down. I know we could leave him if we felt like it, but we really shouldn't. Hopefully, we don't get reprimanded for this. We'd be kind of fucked up, right? I mean, we're just being a good person. And he patted my shoulder. That's like the sign of a great guy. Unless he's patting it sarcastically. In which case, fuck that guy. We're strong. Army strong. I could dig there, I think. Nope. Come on, buddy. We found the ladder. Thank you. You guys have weird candles down there, but thank you for not killing me. I love you. You can lift your head up to the sky. Take a deeper breath and give it time. You can walk the path among the lines with your shattered frame of mind.